Today, I want to preserve this moment in a real Minecraft time capsule, preserving it in time forever. But this isn't a time capsule, this is an Apple HomePod box. Let me fix that. Much better. Minecraft adds a lot of features over time. In fact, in just the year 2023, they added and changed so many features that we here in 2024 are starting to take some of them for granted. For example, the entire armor trim system was announced, added, and released in 2023. Now it's hard to find a video creator that doesn't have an armor trim. Looking back at all these additions got me thinking a lot about how much Minecraft has changed in the past year. And then I started thinking about how much Minecraft has changed since I started making YouTube videos. And then I started thinking about how long it's been since they actually created the first version of the game and how much has changed since then. And then I started spiraling down a rabbit hole of infinite time and space and contemplating the space-time continuum and seeing how the world is just infinite existential crisis, man, I don't know what to do! And then I stopped thinking about that because I like to sleep at night. All this talk of time, though, brought me back to one simple idea. A Minecraft time capsule. After a quick Google search, it seems like nobody has really done something like this, at least that I could find. But what better way is there to preserve a moment in time and be able to look back at it years later just to see how much has changed? So that's exactly what we're doing today. Here's three numbers for you. One, five, and 250. One represents what we're going to be including in the time capsule. We just want the past year of updates, and since we're in 2024 now, that means all of 2023. Five represents how many years it'll be before we can open the time capsule again. Since Minecraft does add a lot of content into the game in just one year, and since I'll hopefully still be making videos in five years, this gives Minecraft a lot of time to change without it being like 20 or 50 years, because that's a really long time. I'll also be scheduling a video for five years in the future with the same information that we'll be including in the physical time capsule. Just in case something happens to this, I think the internet will preserve it a little bit better than a cardboard box. And 250 is the amount of money you can save if you use my code NARFI with our sponsor today, Apex Gaming PCs. If you've been feeling like the hardware in your computer isn't quite up to the standards of 2024 gaming, then I highly recommend you check out Apex. They're a PC building company with an excellent selection of hardware for you to choose from. And we've gone ahead and chosen three preset rigs for you to start with, all of which are built and tested by Apex to make sure they just work when they get to you. They have great performance in modern games, and they use components from trusted component manufacturers like NVIDIA and AMD. Plus, if you don't like the specs of the PCs that I chose, you can use Apex's configurator to adjust it to your specific needs. Head to the link down below in the description and use code NARFI at checkout for up to $250 off your PC. Now that's a pretty great deal. Huge shout out to Apex Gaming PCs for sponsoring this video, but let's get back to what we're actually going to put in the time capsule. Obviously, we won't include anything before this because that's kind of just the introduction. Instead, I'll be recording and quickly explaining all the recent Minecraft additions, and then that segment will be placed on this flash drive, which will be locked in that box with packing tape for the next five years. I'll miss you little flash drive. Anything you see from this point forward with this icon in the corner will be part of the footage that is added to the time capsule. And today I'm going to be talking about all the Minecraft updates from 2023. So if you're getting back into Minecraft or you're just curious all the updates in 2023, this is a great way to catch up. And this is where my script ends. So... Hi, welcome back to 2024. We missed you. This is my current style as of January of this year. Take note of my voice, music, editing, and everything with the visual quality, and then compare that to what the videos look like nowadays. Pretty different, huh? Man, I wonder if subscribers are still a thing. <laughs> Side note, if you're watching this before January 13th, 2029, how dare you? I can't believe you would betray us like that. Anyways, let's talk about the new features from 2023. These are all new from this past year, so if they feel like they've been around forever, they probably have. But hey, time is relative, so welcome to the first update of 2023, 1.19.4. This update was mostly quality of life features like this, the ability to swap your elytra with your armor. Also, jukeboxes work with hoppers now. It'll also pull them out. And skulk sensors can sense things more. Potions have new colors. And you can choose the paintings from the creative menu now. One, two, three, four. And that's most of it, right? There's nothing else important with this update. Just kidding, giant sponge. <laughs> this thing is crazy looking. What do I <laughs> we also got this. <laughs> Block displays are cool, but we also got text displays. I'm just gonna leave this giant sponge here. I'm sure it's fine. We also got the slash damage command oh. and the slash ride command. This one's nice. Oh yeah, and the best change, auto jump is off by default. Best change ever. And that's all of 1.19.4. Obviously there were more features in 1.19, but they didn't come out in 2023. So let's move on to 1.20. Here's all the new bamboo items. They're quite pretty and there's a green one. Don't worry about that. We've also got a ton of cherry stuff which is beautiful and pink and there's a tree and there's leaves and 
boats. Woo! It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, and there's pedals that are kind of neat. But we'll talk about those later. There's also this thing, the calibrated skulk sensor, which also senses stuff better. A lot of sensing in these updates. Oh, it sensed me. There's also the chiseled bookshelf, which you can put books in, which is kind of neat. There's also sand and gravel that looks a little suspicious. And then you can use a brush and you can brush stuff out of it. But this doesn't have anything in it because it needs a loot table. But you can get these from it, which are decorated pots. And you can put stuff in them. There's also a bunch of pottery sherds. I don't know why they're called sherds, but it works. And you can turn these into a pot that has things on it. Wow! And it does the same stuff. You can put stuff in it. Whoa. You may have also noticed the hanging signs. These weren't here before this update. And they're cool. You can put stuff on both sides. Yeah! There's also a relic music disc that's kind of cool. Duh. This is a piglin head. It's kind of spooky. And now you can put heads on note blocks and they'll make the sound of the mobs. We've also got this bad boy, the sniffer, that you can get their eggs from uh, in those things over there, the, uh, the suspicious stuff. It spawns naturally, and you can get uh, you can get the eggs from it. And then you can hatch these bad boys, and then what they'll dig up for you is... Come on, guys, dig something up for me, please dig. Oh, oh, he's digging. What's he find? What'd you get? What is it? Ooh, torch flower seed. And a pitcher pod, both of which you can grow. And then they turn into these. <laughs> Pretty. Someday maybe we'll get more plants like that, but that's all we have right now. Anyways, you can harvest them and then you can plant them in other places and they're pretty cool. Oink! This is so fast-paced and scattered. Are you overwhelmed yet? Because we're not done. One of the biggest updates for 1.20 is the addition of the armor trim system, which allows you to add cool trims to your armor. Look at me. I'm dripped out now. There's also a netherite upgrade, which was uh, apparently kind of uh, controversial, because now you need the netherite upgrade to upgrade to netherite, and beforehand you didn't need that, and uh, it's a little suspicious. I'm, I'm fine with it. It doesn't matter to me. You can also duplicate these and uh, do some cool stuff. And they look really nice. I look great. Along with all these random features, we've also got a couple structures. And the first one looks like this. I know, it doesn't look like much. This is the trail ruin. And you'll see if we dig, you can find suspicious gravel. And it just, it just keeps, it just keeps going. And it's just, you just keep digging and you just keep finding things and you just keep getting things. And you just keep digging. And there's just more stuff down here and it keeps going and going there's also a new addition to the desert temple uh where is it right here a secret room there's a lot of cool stuff in here you can find a lot of cool things yay basically a bunch of places got new suspicious things Everything got sus. This is a perfect segue into our next feature, the camel. These guys spawn in desert villages and you can ride them. Yeah. They're great. I love them. Ow. They also leap forward like crazy. It's kind of awesome. They're also too tall for regular mobs. So if someone is trying to attack you, it can't reach you. What's the problem, huh? Too short? You can also ride camels with your friends. Look, I have a friend on the back. He's a little guy. And the camels also eat cactus, which is kind of kind of cool. Bye. In other 1.20 news, you can find cherry grove biomes covered with these pink petals from earlier. I told you we'd talk about them. They're cool because you can do four different sections of the thing, and then there's four of them, or you could just do what? Uh, Bunny just died somewhere. Speaking of pink petals, these do particles of pink petals. Wow. It's actually really pretty. These are like such pretty trees, oh my gosh. I'm a fan, very pink. It's also what's on my cape right now. Newsflash, quality of life update. Oh no, I had blue wool. I, oh, oh, it's all good, I can re-dye it to purple wool. Yeah, you can now recolor colored things, which you couldn't do before for whatever reason. I don't think you can do it with concrete though, right? I don't think, yeah, you can't do it with concrete because you gotta do the, you know, the powder. Can I like re-dye the powder? No, okay, so the powder, the col those colors you can't. I guess you also can't do glass. Maybe it's just the wool. You can, oh, you can do beds. Beds work. And that's all the features from 1.20. So let's move on to 1.21. 1.20.1 .20 .1 wasn't really much. It had a hot fix for a crash. Well, 1.20.2 had the slash random command. It turns out I don't really know how to use this. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's here. The real reason it came out was because they included a bunch of experimental features, uh, which we'll touch on soon. But first we got 1.20.3 and 1.20.4. And in 1.20.3, we've got one of the most most useful things, the slash tick command. I do have an entire video where I experiment with this uh, slash tick command, and it's really chaotic and really funny, and you should go check it out because it's pretty awesome. But it also means you can freeze the game. Oh. 
Oh no. This is also an update that added the ability to store things in the decorated pot. Shields also point the correct direction when you're moving your head around like this. When they used to just stick here and then never move. The bat is completely different. And then there's a bunch of extra experimental features again, but we're gonna talk about those in a moment again because we have one more update before then. A super important update, 1.20.4, which is also a minor hotfix that did one thing. And that's all the 1.20 updates. <laughs> Clearly 1.20.4 was the most useful out of all of this. But now we get to talk about the fun stuff, the things that haven't been released as of recording this video. Update 1.21, which at the moment is a bunch of experimental features all kind of conglomerated together in a toggle. But let's talk about them anyways, because there's a lot of cool features here. Starting with this guy, the crafter. You'd never guess it, but this thing crafts stuff. For example, want a bunch of stone buttons? Sure, easy. Just hook it up to a redstone signal and put in the stone. Want to turn all your spruce logs into planks? No worries either. You can do that with the crafter. After. You can also do more complex things like make armor and stuff with timing and all of that, but I made another separate video on that, so you should go check that out because it's complicated. Automated crafting, something I didn't know I needed, but also knew I needed and have been wanting for a long time. But now let's get to the fun part. The coolest and most unexpected update from 1.20.1 is this, the trial chambers. This place comes with these, the trial spawners, a bunch of new copper blocks, and uh, some really neat mechanics. Let's start with these trial spawners, though. If I go into survival mode, uh, they activate, and then they start spawning stuff, and that's a breeze, and I'm gonna die. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> I can do this! I can make it! And you'll notice that if you win, you can get a thing from the trial spawner, including the trial key, which I, we don't actually know what this does yet. It just kind of exists. It's really cool. A little opening animation. I got a, got a baked potato? It's neat. And there's a bunch of different rooms. This is all procedurally generated, and you can walk through it and uh, get a bunch of loot, and uh, you can do it with your friends. It wasn't at all what I thought Minecraft would do for this update, but I honestly kind of love it. It's a very different way to play the game, and uh, I'm here for it. I like it. Along with the trial chambers, we've got this, the copper bowl, tough bricks here, the waxed chiseled copper. Here's some copper grates along with a copper door. Plus, this build is just beautiful. Like, this color scheme is really cool. One of the most important blocks of this, though, is this guy, the copper bulb. This thing is toggleable, which makes it super useful for redstone. Check this out. Constant redstone stone signal output with this comparator and then you can toggle it off and then it goes off. It's so good, dude. It's so cool. It's a single block T flip flop, if you know what that means. And these were even cooler because of a cool redstone tick thing, but then Minecraft reverted that change and then the entire internet went up in flames and everyone was super upset about it. And I kind of hope they still revert it, but as of now, they haven't, they haven't reverted it back. Anyways, enough about the drama. You don't want to hear about the drama. You want to hear about the new stuff. New stuff like this guy, the Breeze Ma. The Breeze will fly around the room and attack with cool things like that, like wi wind, a lot of wind going on. And it can also interact with things on the walls, like traps. For example, down here, you can see there's a couple of things that it just hit buttons on. It's really cool. It's also really difficult to defeat. Uh, they're also a little stressful if you're not prepared. Yeah, took him down. Oh, there's another one. They're really cool. They only spawn down here in the trial chambers, and they're a great little tactical, difficult thing for you to take on when you're down here. Yeah! Oh, that was actually so cool! Good job! Got him! And uh, potatoes. Awesome. Love the potatoes. And that's about it. There's not much else. Oh, yeah. Other than this guy, this is the armadillo. Look at you! Look at its face. It's so weird. <laughs> this is the first version of the armadillo, and uh, they actually changed it. They posted a little update on it, and so we're gonna get that soon, but we actually haven't gotten it yet. They fixed his face. It's very goofy and derpy looking right now, though. The new one looks way better. These guys are cool. They'll roll into a little ball if you get too close with their little heads sticking out like that. And you can brush them to get armadillo scoots. Come here. Give me your scoots. These scoots are used to make wolf armor. Come on. Be my friend. Yes, friend. Boop. Wolf armor. Hopefully this does protect them. Uh, oh, it does actually pretty well. But I don't know about you, I'm probably not gonna bring my dog along with me anyways. This is a nice little addition though. This was the winner of the Minecraft mob vote this year. Oh, they were the winner of the Minecraft mob vote this year and uh, controversial opinion, but uh, I, do, uh, do, uh, think the, I think the crab was better. But I like this, I think they're great. I think it's a good addition and uh, I'm pretty happy that it is not this derpy in the final version. <laughs> and that is the current state of 1.21. By the time you're seeing this, this 
this update is old news. 2024, these were the things we were worried about. We're also pretty sure there's gonna be more features added to 1.21 in the future, but we're not sure yet what they are because they haven't been announced and that's just what Minecraft does right now. And that's a semi-recent thing and it's just, it's a, a lot of people are a little upset about it. You know, Minecraft right now is just a little bit dramatic. It's a bit of a dramatic scene. You're not really missing out on anything. I hope it doesn't get worse. Anyways, thanks for watching the past. Usually I just, and so with that, the flash drive is ready. It will go in this box and the top will go on. And this will not be opened until 2029. In fact, with this giant Sharpie, I'm gonna write that on here. Do not, do not open until 2029. And now it's just gonna sit right there. And I won't touch it for five years. <sighs> Time is a funny thing. If you wanna see me open the box and see what was inside when we originally put it in there, then uh, you should subscribe. And if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. I'm coming for you. Yeah. <laughs>